Welcome back to another episode of This Is How We Roll. I am Joel Willard, North Central Wisconsin. We're out drafting some of these uh, clear glacial lakes and looking for the big smallmouth. Uh, what we're doing today is we're actually out on these big main lake humps and we're looking for some grass and rock mixture. Uh, this lake, the forage in this lake is mainly perch. These big small multiple feet on these perch. And what we've noticed today so far is that a lot of these perch are hanging around these grass clumps out here. Um, so I'm, I'm using my Homebird electronics here, trying to find a uh, rock grass mixture where, you know, where these fish are sitting just inside the grass or just even outside the grass waiting to ambush any kind of bait coming in or out of that grass line. And there's no better way to target these fish than a Carolina rig. So we're still idling around out here. We're trying to find just the right spot. Um, you know, typically you like to find maybe some bigger boulders coming out of this, out of this grass and these weeds. Um, as you can see on this, on the side imaging here, it's a real, real uh, white return, which means hard bottom. I've actually found a couple spots right in here. Uh, as you can see on the, on the 2D uh, sonar here that there's some bait fish right in these weeds. Um, you know, they're kind of tucked up in these weeds. It's starting to come up on, on this hump here. And I'm gonna throw a Carolina rig right down the side of that. It's gonna allow me to, you know, I can fish it out in the, uh, in the hard bottom area. Otherwise I can pull it right through the, right through the weeds. So you can see there was a bunch of bait fish here. I'm actually gonna mark a waypoint right here. And we're gonna turn around and fish that with our Carolina rigs. So I've got two different setups here for Carolina rigs that I always have tied on. Uh, I use the G. Loomis NRX. It's the actual Carolina rig and rod. It's a 7.3 fast, medium heavy rod uh, paired up with a Shimano uh, Curato K 200 XG. It's the fast reel. It's the uh, 8.5. 8 um, you know, when I, when I get these fish hooked up, I just want to get those fish right to the boat. And this, this reel right here has a real fast ratio and picks up a lot of line to get those fish into the boat quickly. So with my Carolina rigs, you know, depending on the clarity of the water, um, it's gonna really determine how long my, my leader length is. The dirtier the water, typically the shorter I have my leader length, and the clearer the water, the longer I have. Uh, these, you know, central, north central lakes in Wisconsin are real clear, they're natural glacial lakes. Um, you know, we're targeting smallmouth out here. I like to typically have maybe a two to three foot leader on there, sometimes a little bit longer, uh, just letting the fish tell you what they want. You know, I know there's a million different ways to set up a Carolina rig. I really like to keep mine simple. Um, you know, occasionally I'll use maybe one or two beads on it. And a lot of times I don't use any beads at all, you know, just depending on what I'm fishing. So as you can see, I actually have a peg stop on here. I started putting the peg stop on, um, you know, after I, I knocked out about three porcelain eyelets on my, my Carolina rig rod, I got sick of my, my weight going up and hitting my eyelet and knocking out that porcelain. So I actually put a peg stop on there. I don't necessarily go real tight to the sinker. I go up, you know, I'll keep it about a foot up just so that sinker has movement, can uh, crawl through the rocks and anything else that's going through. Um, my sinker's here. I'm using the Carolina rig barrel weight from Swagger Tungsten. I have two different types of weights that I use with my Carolina rigs. And that's kind of what I want to show you guys today is that, you know, typically when I'm fishing any kind of rocks, you know, and there's no vegetation around, I'm gonna go to this barrel weight. It's gonna go through the rocks a lot better. It's almost like a football jig versus just a flipping jig. It's got a lot more, you know, rounder head and I'll get it through those rocks without getting stuck. The other kind of weight I use in my Carolina rigs is actually just a half ounce Swagger Tungsten worm weight. Uh, as you can see there, I like this one. As you can see, it goes through the grass really well. Like, to, like what I'm fishing today, I'm looking for a lot of grass with rock coming out of that grass, little transitions there. I'm actually gonna be pulling my Carolina rig through the grass. So with this worm weight, it allows your weight and your whole Carolina rig to go through that grass with ease without getting snagged up. I hope you guys learned a couple things about how I set up my Carolina rigs and what sinkers that I use depending on what scenario I'm fishing, whether it's rocks or grass. Thanks for tuning in to This Is How We Roll. I'm gonna get these Carolina rigs in the water and I'm going bassing.